Hi. In this video, we'll be learning about HTML styling. So, so far, our web pages are looking pretty good. We've got headers, formatted text, links, images, lists, tables. We've, we've got some cool stuff going on on our web pages. But you know what? We can get even more stylish. And the way we're going to do that is by introducing the style attribute. So the style attribute is an attribute that we can add to any HTML tag that lets us add several different types of styles to the tag. So how do we use this? Well, on any tag, no matter what the tag name is, all we have to do is insert into the opening tag the style attribute. And so the way this works is that the style attribute defines several different style properties about the tag. So for example, we can have a P tag whose style has the color blue or a table data that has a background color of red, or an H1 that has a font size of 60. So we see that we define the property that we're styling, colon, then the value, and then a semicolon. And what's cool is we can have multiple styles on one tag. All we have to do is separate out these property value pairs with semicolons. So as long as it's all in double quotes, we can have style equals, and then a massive string defining several different properties and several different values. So for example, here we have just a standard p tag that says hello. But if we add the style attribute and then inside the quotes give it the color blue, color colon blue, semicolon, now the text is blue. But we don't have to stop there. We can add a background color of yellow, and now we have this nice highlight. And we can add a font size of 60 pixels, and now the text is really big. So using this strategy, we can add several styles to a single tag. So what are some of the stylistic properties that we can manipulate? Well, the first is color. The color property defines the text color for the tag. So if we have a color of red, then all the text inside of that tag, even within sub tags, even within nested tags, all of that text will have the color red. We can also do blue, we can do yellow, and we have several colors we can choose from. We can also do background color, and that will set the background color for the entirety of that tag. We can do same thing, red, blue, yellow, several other colors. Um, we can play around with the font. So we can set the font size to be any number of pixels we like. Here we have an example of 12 pixels, 30 pixels, and 60 pixels. We can set the text alignment with the text align property. So if we have a text align of left, then we have a left alignment. We can also do center, and we can do right. And that will align the text within the tag. Now you may be wondering, what colors do I have to choose from? Is it just red, blue, and yellow? Turns out there's actually 140 colors that have names in HTML. So we have all your standard colors. We got red, blue, and green. We have some kind of weird colors like cyan. And then we have some really strange names like blanched almond. If you want to see a full list of the 140 colors we can play around with, you can go to w3schools.com, go to this URL, and get a full list of all the HTML color names. So let's play around with the style attribute in the editor. So here we have our code from earlier that makes an address book. Now this looks pretty nice, but we're going to use the style attribute to make this page look gorgeous. So what I'm going to do is go into code view, because it's a lot easier to add attributes in the code view. And first thing I want to do is I want to make the entire background blue. So to do that, I'm going to set the body tag to have the style attribute of background color colon blue semicolon. Let's see what that does. Sweet. And notice this set the background color for the entire body. If I were to take this out and put it inside just the table, now we have only the table having background color of blue. But we want the entire page to have a background of blue, so let's put it at the body level. Now this is getting a little hard to see, so let's increase the font size of the table. So we have the table has already has a border attribute of 1. We can just go ahead, add a space, and set the style attribute. So here, the style attribute should say that the font size, font dash size, let's set it to 20 pixels, semicolon. Great, it's getting a lot better. Um, so we actually want the header row to have a font size much bigger than the actual table data. So what we can do, rather than going in and manually setting it for each table header, Let's just set it at the table row level, and it will apply to all of this tag. It will apply to all the text inside this row. So here, now it might be very tempting to say something like font size equals 30 pix pixels or something like that. 
The problem is that won't work. Font size is not a valid attribute. Style is the attribute. And, in, and inside the style attribute, that is where we define all of these stylistic things. So inside, that's where we have to say font size colon 30 pixels. Great. You know what? Let's also put a semicolon. Let's add another one. Color of yellow. Awesome. And now let's alternate our rows between blue and white. So let's say this row has the background color of white. Nice. And let's do the same thing for the last row. Nope. Keep that there. Paste that there. Solid. So that is how we can use the style attribute to add style to our web pages. Now it's your turn to give it a try.